It was one of those few labels where the minute you put the needle down on the record, you knew it was a Blue Note record. Whether it was the artwork, whether it was the photography, and whether it was the music, or the combinations of the musicians, and that the artists you felt were never compromised in any fashion at all. What makes Blue Note un unique is the, the premise the, upon which it was started in 1939, which was to capture music in its truest form. We used to collect the records. We couldn't afford too many of them. So we'd call around town, and if we heard about a place on the east side of Detroit that had Larry Young Unity, and we'd never seen the album in person, we'd, we'd go out and get on a, on a bus and ride 45 minutes just to read the back cover and to, and to touch it. And we'd look at those photos from Blue Note, the Francis Wolfe photos of the sessions where there were no walls. It was just a, this dark room with a bunch of smoke and saxophones and microphones and it looked like the coolest place in the world to be. In 1939, swing was the pop music of the era. To give you an example of what it would be like today, the major labels were recording bands like One Direction, and people going to clubs heard singers like Adele, and they felt that the major labels weren't capturing the music in its truest essence and form. Mm -hmm. And that's what Blue Note was started on. Blue Note was totally what you would call an indie label. It was started by these two guys who came over from Germany in 1939 and just loved American jazz. If they were alive and could see what the catalog does today, it would blow their minds. I don't, I, I don't think they could have ever imagined how popular and enduring the music was. One engineer, Rudy Van Gelder, recorded 99% of all the albums. One graphic designer, Reed Miles. You just look at it today and, and you know it's a Blue Note record. Graphically, it, it permeated the entire culture. It's one of those few labels where the brand, for lack of a better term, is as big a star as any artist.